Hey, well, good morning. We are actually getting ready to go out. This will make our um, our third trip with an overnighter with the uh, rebuilt truck camper, rebuilt truck. All loaded up, got the dogs. We're going to a place called Hope. Never been there before. Airbags aired up. Water tank full. Diesel tank adequate. Getting ready to fill up the gas tank. And um, enjoying this rack back here. Seems to be doing pretty well so far. And um, we're all set. So here's a road we've not shared on our previous travels with you. This is the kind of the main drag right here. This is the Glen Highway. And this is what you're going to be riding if you go from Anchorage to Palmer, Wasilla. Eventually you'll jump over. There's two different ways you can jump over at that point. Go all the way up to Fairbanks, up and around. Uh, but this really is the main, main highway here come to visit you're probably going to end up on the Glen at some point um, and that's where we are so rolling along I filled up the tank the last trip we went out up to the uh, July 4th car launch in Glacier View looks like we got a little over 10 miles to gallon that was climbing the, the pass going up that way so we're gonna find out this is a much flatter ride through here We'll see if we do any better than 10, 10.1, I doubt it. So this is your non-picturesque area of Anchorage. This is um, a lot of one-way streets in Anchorage. And we're currently on Gamble, which turns into, or actually is the Seward Highway, which is also the Alaska One. And this will be the road that we take on down to Girdwood and around the Turnigan Arm area. All right, so just like that, we are out of the city area of Anchorage, and we are on our way to scenic and beautiful views. This is the old Seward Highway, and it looks like, I'm going to say, low tide out there right now. The waters are up everywhere, thanks to a lot of rain so far this summer and the runoff from the snow melt. See, there are Corvettes in Alaska. There it goes. And this is a nice treat. We are catching up to the Alaska Railroad right here. Look, Explorer? Is that what it is? Yeah, Explorer. Yeah, how cool is that? So those of you looking for the sit back and let Alaska come to you, that is your ticket right there. Look at those views that you would be seeing from that machine right there. It's gorgeous. Yeah, a lot better view than looking through the window of the truck. One of the numerous pull-offs out here. The train actually went by before I could get the camera out and film it. But wow, the water is calm today. I've been by here before where it's white capping out there. And supposedly, if you're lucky, you might actually see a whale out there. Just beautiful what a beautiful day well this is called a rest stop alaska style we are look at these views where are we we are on the kenai peninsula right yep turning in our trail head turning in our trail something like that yeah we're south of where we normally where we live we're down past girdwood we were riding along looking at the beautiful scenery and forgot to take a picture of the uh, now entering the kenai peninsula sign so uh just had a little bit of lunch i think we're maybe 30 miles away i think we're about 30 miles away from hope from here and uh just got to take the dogs for a nice walk out here and they got trails all through here just beautiful we met a lady from Germany, she brought over her motorhome, a 1997 model from Germany, and she's spending a year of her life traveling everywhere. I think she just came from Mexico, and did she say they, they uh, shipped it into Nova Scotia or something? Yeah, they Nova Scotia. And she's just been driving, so pretty amazing. Spending a year traveling. Yeah, a whole year traveling, so imagine. What is that like? What is that like? I work for a living. Good Lord. Anyway, um, all right. We are, we're going to pack up and roll. Well, we made it to the park. Uh, battery actually died in the GoPro and the spare batteries were in the camper. So we missed 
filming a lot of things coming in. So hopefully you can catch them on the way out. We're in a pretty shady spot, but we are making uh, 62 volts out of the possible 80-ish. So that's okay. And we're still absorbing. Uh, we're running at 14.5 volts. So we can live with that, uh, run the fans and stuff. This is our spot for the night. There's a well pump over there. And uh, nice little area back off the beaten path. It's uh, 23 bucks a night for the state park here. And this is the perfect size for a truck camper. No hookups. That's fine. We're self-contained. Got our own park bench down here. And I'm betting you there's going to be some warnings. Yes. So we have to be concerned about bears. So, got a little fire pit. Um, the tourniquet arm, the waterway is over there. We didn't get here in time to be able to get a waterfront property. Hey, get back here. Uh, but, got nice spots. We got to go get this paid for, signed in, and sit back and relax. Well, here is our view looking out over tourniquet arm. It's beautiful bit of a climb if we want to go down there we're not going to go down there they even have a rope we are on goal rock, rock. Trail. we're on goal rock trail and we have a bell we have bear spray we have other bear items with us someone told us they've seen some browns and black bears here uh so we're just gonna make noise and i'm playing the radio we are going to follow that along it's over five miles one way we're not going to make it that far today, but temperature outside right now is about 74-ish, 73, 74. It's a beautiful day, and uh, all the mosquitoes in the world are here right now. There's a convention. There's a convention going on in town, and uh, the mosquitoes are all here convening. But anyway, we got some bug spray, and we're we're walking. Let me show you what the uh, opened up part of the trail looks like as we go. We just went off a little side chute. We just entered the trailhead right out of the park, right out of the camper park. So, so far it's very well groomed here. Just kind of a big open trail. Shaded, which is appreciated. You know, I lived in Florida for a lot of my life. And this time of year in Florida, it's three digits on the scale of hot, hot, hot. I just, I can't do that anymore. It can hit a hundred in Alaska, it can. So far this summer has been super mild and I've been super happy. Today's one of the warmer days that I've had in a while. Of course, we're further south than our house, but it's just, just gorgeous. It's a Thursday. There are not a lot of people. Perfect. Well, the elevation's starting to climb a little bit here, and we've never been on this trail before, so I don't know what to expect. 
But I have to say this, as I, as I look forward, the level of difficulty increases. And actually, this would normally really, really, really excite me if I was in the, you know, the green truck and heading over that. But um, we're gonna settle for two two-wheel drivers, two four-wheel drivers, and then we're gonna work our way up that rock garden right there. But man, wouldn't that be fun to try to drive the truck up that? I think it would. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this would be this would be a blast. Uh, it's obviously too narrow of a trail, but if this was this would be awesome in a four-wheeler. about two miles in, two and a half according to her account. And it is a little over five miles out there. So what are we debating? We're debating on if we're gonna do the whole trail or turn around. I think she's getting a little uh, anxious with uh, all the, what you're not seeing on this is a lot of this trail so far has been, it's absolutely beautiful, don't get me wrong but the view is just a tight trail the uh thanks to all the incredible vegetation blooming here you don't get as many views of the waterway as we had expected uh we don't know what is we don't know what's at the end up there we don't know if it opens up and it's glorious views all the way we we don't know there could be waterfalls there could be i don't know what so we're here about two and a half miles in uh we're gonna call it here, have some uh, have some cool water, some snacks, and turn around maybe? Maybe. Maybe? Anyway, uh, I sit down, we got some water for the puppers and some water for us, and actually breaking a little bit of a sweat. I didn't expect that. Are you breaking a little sweat too? Mm -hmm. Didn't expect to break a sweat. We're really not in the sun, but we've uh, been up and down on elevation. And, uh, but you know, I'm gonna shut up and just let you see. Probably a good place for a pitcher. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Post said that these spots, like uh, right here, are booked typically way ahead of time. But our spot's okay.
This is called an Alaska Dog Sauna Spa Day. You see when they get completely covered in mud, <laughs> you bring them to the mountain stream and uh, you command them to lay down. This guy gets it. This one, nah. She she's does. She, she's the princess. She does her own thing on her own time. Let's see, you're gonna see Nikki fall in here in a second. He gets it. He gets it. He's cooling that big body down. He gets it. He's good. He's like, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. There you are. Wow, so much better, Oliver. So much better. Stay away from the edge. Go to the middle, Oliver. Oliver, sit. Oliver, sit. Sit. Yeah. Okay. Let's go outside. Come on. We need to go outside potty. Come on. Let's go. She hit the corner. Yeah, she, she did. Okay, come on. Come on this way. There you go. Good girl. So those of you that are dog lovers, I'm going to include cat people in there too because cats shed and do things to your house. But it's a dog thing. It's a pet thing, right? It's a pet thing. So I am... Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. So I am uh, I am sitting where this fuzzy fur monster made his home last night. He, uh, he can't quite... There's not enough room up there for all four of us. Uh, but that fuzzy fur monster thinks that she's a princess. And she, she goes up there. Uh, but... Yeah, he's assumed his position here. He's supervising my meal, making sure that... Everything is okay. I appreciate that, you know. And uh, so, anyway, we have a lot of vacuuming and cleanup to do when we get home. I, I do, you know, uh, all the campers we've had up until now, except for our other truck camper, that's a different story, but all of our other campers have had full bath showers in them. After yesterday's hike, uh, sweaty, bug spray all over us, you know, a shower would be nice, but at the same time it just um, we're here we're in the woods right anyway um this is a dog thing those of you that have them you get it those that don't have it i feel sorry for you anyway i'm going to enjoy this incredible meal and we're thinking about what we're going to do the rest of the day all right we are headed out of this campground I have to tell you that uh, all things considered, this this has been it's been a really really great campground for us last night. Definitely a return trip is in order here, and I'd like to go on further on the trail and see where it ends. Uh, but this is a great place. They have a nice secure um, garbage area. Uh, when when you're in places like Alaska and other states that have bears. Uh, you have to have locked down, locked down garbage and be very concerned about that. Something we're trying to work through as well. You know, I put my um, camping grill in a tote, but then they ask you to put it inside, store those things in your vehicle after they've been used. And um, I, you know, we did, we do, and we did. Uh, trouble is it makes your vehicle smell like, uh, makes your vehicle smell like your grill which isn't good so we're trying to we're trying to air the truck out a little bit here grill is now in the camper which is going to smell like the grill anyway we're gonna head into we're gonna let the host know that we're leaving and then head into hope and just see a few things and then head back north give you a little tour coming in in alaska the, it, a lot of thing is on things are on the honor system when you come in you pay drop off your envelope get your little get your little slip to put in your window and you go there also, you may notice these stickers in some of our videos on our vehicles for uh, state and uh, Matsu Borough area campgrounds. We, we prepay a sticker and just have that good for the year. It's kind of crappy because you have to get one per vehicle and they're not cheap, but usually the fee in any fee areas around here, it's like five bucks, five bucks a day 
and they expect you to pay that when you're parking. This is our camp post. We're going to come up here and let her know our decision and um, that we're heading out so she can rent. She's already got it on the board. So um, we'll give you a little ride around the park here. So let's give you a drive through tour. Uh, I was just thanking our host, <coughs> Irene. She did a beautiful job. Um, she takes care of keeping these bathrooms clean and They're I'm very nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna film a bathroom while I'm in it, but I want to tell you that they were some of the nicest I've seen uh, in the area. They were it was good and clean. Um, and we bumped into a few of the people here in the camp overall. Uh, a lot of nice friendly folks. We've seen license plates in here from I'm going to say Colorado, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Canada, Canada. I found out I speak Canadian, eh? Yeah. Anyway, a uh, Canadian license plate on one of the vehicles. Uh, a lot of Alaska plates, which is super, super cool. Um, Alaska right here in this. Now that's a rental. You can come to Alaska and rent an RV. Probably an amazing way to see the state. Uh, but where's he from, Alaska? Don't know, maybe there's a tag on the front. No tag, uh, yes, yes. Alaska. Alaska. So we get some Alaskans. I think uh, 30, did it max out at 30? Was it more than that, 33 maybe? That's Alaska. So I think there are 33 spots in here. These are the ones, these are the spots to have right here. Good Lord, look at that beautifulness. Anyway, um, it's a simple little RV park, 23 bucks a night. And uh, you no can hookups. say again, no hookups. yeah, no hookups here. So, uh, first come, first serve for some of the spots, and then reserve spots, which is nice. There's the trailhead that we there's two entrances to it here that we took you on yesterday, and um, thick and wooded. There's a super big look up there, there's a little big old hill, mountain, whatever, over here. And just kind of a neat combination of people tent camping, rooftop camping, pool behind trailer camping, van camping, and truck camping. We got it all here. What do you want? We got it all. A little bit of everything. So these spaces, pretty much all these spaces are great. I think the one thing that we did not want to do was uh, some of these are dual spaces. I'll show you one of those here in just a second. Um, so here's a pull behind, and uh, you can see it's not a big one. You would not want a big one in this place. This is a beautiful camper, Arctic Fox. This is out of Colorado. He's either visiting from there or moved, or who knows, maybe he stole that truck. Yeah, possibly. Anyhow, um, this spot here is occupied by, that's a nice little nice little camper right there bit of an incline I found the spots to be pretty level we threw a couple blocks under the truck but what I was trying to say here's an example they've got some of these spots here they're dual spots now if you're coming here with a friend and they also have a rig how about that that's super cool just do a dual see this is a uh, two spots in one and uh, that's if you're if you're with some buddies that is a cool that's a cool outfit right there um, but if you're in a dual spot you could bring a friend with their camper and then hook up that would be super cool and there was our spot last night it's nice can't believe we were making solar power like crazy in this shade And there's, uh, I think, a total of four bathrooms in here. And uh, some are dual and some are singles. That guy's got a nice setup. Here is a type of van I don't think I've ever seen. The body side panels on this van are not stock by any means. It's been widened or something back there. A uh, little fiberglass body in the back. That's a nice, that's a neat camera. Yeah, this is another example of a dual spot over here. You've got, I really don't, I guess those people are just sleeping in their vehicles maybe. 
and you can see if you've got a pull behind you got to get creative you gotta get creative but you can do it and uh, if you're all fully self-contained in one shot you got it made right there that's it that's the campground and spot 34 so I guess 34 is the total number in here really great fantastic place it's at the very end of the road coming into hope is this there's no street sign here but it does say welcome to hope historic, historic district. district and there's a finger pointing that way so uh, that's a dead end we're gonna go this way okay here's the museum hope sunrise historical district Here we go, people. And now you are visiting Hope, the McSpeed way. That was we got lost and it took us three, three different turns to get down here. Little coffee shop. Doesn't look like they're open yet. I think everyone's still sleeping. Hope Wagon Trail Run. That looks like fun if you like to run. We got public toilets. There. Yeah, it's nice. And uh, everybody, that's for sale. You want to take a picture of that phone number and come back here and buy a little piece of paradise. So this is a, oh, this is a campground too. Uh-huh. Dogs on leash. Dogs. Look at this, guys. We could have been camping here. That's okay. We had a beautiful camping spot, but this is, look at that little, look at, oh, there's a dude fishing out there. Okay. Look at that, fishing out the back of your camper here. So, awesome. I don't know if we can just park here and go. Yeah, this is just, you know, parallel though, that camping. So we can just do All right, quick let's off. go out here and take a look at this place. Yeah, it's something we weren't able to see. Oh, this old piece of machinery just sitting here. It's a crankshaft to an engine. That's interesting. So old engine block? Yeah, old engine block. Looks what was like I? A steering thingy, right? Isn't that a steering thingy? Looks like a steering gear to it. Yeah, it's like a frame to a. Who knows? But um, yeah, there's more of it right here. This is an entire vehicle. There's the differential. There's the wheel hubs. There's the springs. springs. That's some old stuff. But what was I just saying a few minutes ago about Alaska? and stuff comes here and it doesn't usually leave it's neat from a some degree of historical you know it's funny today's junk a hundred years from now is someone's historical find anyway we've got fishermen down here oh my isn't this something this is beautiful I think, our, I think our camping spot was pretty cool last night. But did we miss out on like something else? No? Wow. Beautiful out here. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. If you're into fishing, if you want to come to Alaska and snag some fish, you got a camper, you want to come to Hope. Beautiful, huh? Love that sound. So peaceful. Okay, so this is uh, this is Hope here, and um, there we go. Let's make some shade. That's it. Okay, this is this is Hope here. Little blue dots where we are, and uh, as you can see, there's there just isn't a whole lot to it, which is what makes it special. Which what what makes it nice. I think we've had all the hope that we're going to um, that we're going to have today, and we're going to start heading back. It's a big weekend for hope. It's a oh, this is a big weekend for hope. They have a 5K run, they have the raffle, they have they have things going on here. So we're going to get out before it gets busy. Oh, well, you thought we were leaving town, but we're not. A little museum here. Let you take a picture with your eyes here. 
Yeah, Cook Inlet. Give you some details here. Now see here's some old equipment that's still here too. Winch. Pumps. There we go. Yeah. See, just pause the video right here if you want to read all that. Tractor. Some people have really relied on that piece of machinery. Old plows. That looks like a generator right there. Buddha? <laughs> That's funny. We don't have a placard for these items per se, but this is a Buddha generator. Yep, one day we'll probably all be cooking on those again. Oak. That's a real live functional stable there. Horse can stick its head out the top too, huh? Oh, the old power wagon. So, true story, my dad, way back when, in Florida, had one of these. And back before buggies were a thing, like that stuff you've seen me riding around in with the Humvee in Alaska, before buggies were a thing, long before buggies were a thing, my dad got a hold of one of these and he put it up on actual airplane tires and um, lifted it, obviously built it up and used that as a swamp buggy. They could go on the beaches and they could go through the swamps in it. And it ran a long, long time. And uh, eventually it just rotted away out in the Florida swamp. These things have been all over the world. Absolutely all over the world. Military 42 to 45 power wagon. Yeah, super cool. You wanna know what's really cool? I brought a $500 truck camper. Well, we'd go inside, but it is closed. You know, I have resisted with every fiber in my being the dad jokes. You know that I have, right? What? I've resisted the dad jokes with every fiber in my being about That's being crazy. in hope. I'm gonna leave it at that, but think about the dad jokes in a town named Hope. <laughs> Let's hit the road. And yeah, working our way towards Girdwood, the sign back there told us uh, 33 miles to Girdwood. Decided we're gonna give it a bath and the bugs have definitely had their way. I don't think we're going to be able to reach. You know, the top doesn't look that bad up there, does it? Yeah, the bugs really got on the bottom side. So we're going to try to spray it off without damaging it. So. Okay, we have one clean camper pulling out of the car wash now. Wanted to get those bugs off of it before they became a permanent part of the paint in the front of the camper. Uh, hey, we had a great trip and 
I uh, appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. We didn't film it, but we actually picked up a hitchhiker in uh, south of Girdwood that was looking for a ride all the way up to the uh, Glacier View area, uh, up to the um, Matanuska Glacier. And um, pretty cool young man doing a summer job with the state of Alaska in the parks group where he backpacks professionally and cleans and clears and grooms trails and that sort of thing for the state of Alaska. Pretty cool. Comes out of the uh, it comes out of the state of Michigan and he's down here doing his thing while he's still in school. So pretty neat. We enjoyed riding with him. We're cleaned up. We're ready to go put this thing away and uh, think about what our next adventure is and we will be sure to bring you along so make sure and subscribe to the channel if you like this content and we'll show you a little bit more about what the real Alaska looks like. Thanks for watching.